What was the most disappointing part of that third period? First, uh, the second 10 minutes of the first period. Because? Second 10 minutes of the first period? Yeah. But for me, probably that's where, in the end, we lose the game. Because we were all of them for the first 10. And I thought if we would have continued to play mm -hmm. for the second 10 of the first, the way we played the first 10 of the first, we might be able to create separation and not have put ourselves in the position that we ended up in. So yeah. I would say, not to be a smart aleck, but no. I would say, I think I, I think to your to answer your question, where did we, what happened? Where did we mm -hmm. lose it? That for me is where we lost it. Jim, one or too long ago we were in here after the home opener talking about this team maybe getting complacent against a team we expect to be the bottom of the league. Is that a trend that's starting to worry you or is it too early for that? No, 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 that's not worrying me. What I would say is this league is very hard and it's very competitive from one to 32. We saw that. I mean. Everybody was dumping on San Jose. They just won three games in a row. You know, um, it's a good league. So I don't really look at the opponent, frankly. Uh, some guys are, are, are uh, coming in hotter than other teams, but it's a hard league. You have to play well to win, and if you don't, you get you know, put yourself in in the danger zone. So you didn't like the last ten minutes of the first. What right. was said between the first and the second then to try to change that? Well, I think the players talked amongst themselves mostly. And, uh, and understood that it, it, I, I don't think it was just the coach who saw that the, the first 10 minutes and the last 10 minutes of the first contrast. I think the players saw that, so they took it in their own hands. Did you feel like the last 10 minutes of the first carried over to no. the rest of the game, or just specifically right. that was the point where you guys could have right. put it away? That's what, I, that's what I think, yeah. No, I don't think it carried over. I think we got ourselves back together. Um, you know, Razzi played good. Sometimes it goes that way. Jim, we talked about Hughes struggled to score a few nights ago, but still nothing's gone for him. I mean, what's what's going on there? Are you getting a little bit concerned with that lack of goals? He had a couple shots tonight. But right. He, yeah. had he had some really good looks tonight. Yeah, so I, I don't think he'd been getting a lot of good looks. Tonight he had some really good looks, so we'll we'll take that as a step forward. And you got to find the back of the net, and it's a, it's a relief. You, I'm sure we're going to talk about Phil. You saw when Phil finally scored. Uh, I felt the relief from the bench. You know what I mean? It's it's, and now I'm sure he's going to get going. And and he played his best game of the year. Coincidentally, he scored, but he played his best game of the year. Phil, I'm talking that about. That goal almost feel like a carryover from the way that whole line played. It seemed like they played the entire game in the offense. Yeah, they 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 looked like they did last year when we had put them together and had such a great run. Uh, that's how they have to play. They were quick. They were strong on puck battles. I think that's the one thing you saw. They made a couple plays off the rush, but mostly it was forechecking, lifting sticks, stealing pucks back, and uh, making quick plays in tight, which is what all three of them can do. Do I feel like you built up so much momentum in that game against Vegas, even just ignoring quality of opposition? You really stepped on the gas, yeah. kind of stepped on the throats, if you will. Kind of saw the opposite of that tonight. Is there anywhere that that momentum has been stunted? No, because I wouldn't say, uh, outside of the 10 minutes, I wouldn't say that we we felt the opposite. Um, listen, Mrazek played really well, so give him credit. If if. A couple of those would have went for us. We might be just saying, geez, you guys played a good game. You locked it down. And so I, I'm not going to go there. Um, you know, it was disappointing for sure that we didn't find a way to get the back of the net one more time at least. But, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going down that path. What do you think of the defending on the, the tying goal at 3-3? Uh, the 3-3 three, three goal. Let me go back. Oh, the 6-on-5 six goal? Six five, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, we, they made a good pass, a good play. We would have liked to break, break it up. That's clear. So 84 has to break that. Well, yeah, that's that's his job at that point. Yeah, take that pass away. Broadly speaking, maybe some parallels here between this and the San Jose game where you have a favorable matchup on paper and, and don't quite close it. Did you see parallels there or did you think oh. they were different? They were, they were completely different, yeah. yeah. Again, outside of the last 10 minutes of the first period, the San Jose game, they kind of took it to us after the first period, the last 40 minutes, and we had trouble getting traction. I thought we got traction back again. We just weren't able to score. And, and they were opportunistic. Can you comment on, on the level of Alex's play lately? Yeah, I mean, he's been our most consistent player uh, through 12 games. So Puck's going in for him tonight. He, I think he only had two shots. Somebody would know better than me, probably. I think he only had two, found the net on both of them. Um, you know, so those things tend to even out over some time. But right now he's hot and, and uh, he's shooting well, finding good spots. But his game is a is an all-round game. So, you know, it's nice that he's scoring and will always take goals for sure. But just like how he's playing the game, he's, he's taking a step forward. Yeah, you talked about that. I mean, even on his goal, he 
for checking hard, he turned Vlasic over, they recovered, then he chased it into the red line. Uh, just, you know, your sense of when, when a player makes a play and has that kind of effort, they tend to get rewarded. Right? Yeah. That's just it. I'm glad, and I'm glad you mentioned it and you saw that. There's, there's highlight real goals, which some are just so such pure skill. But you could also look at that 12-second uh, sequence and call that a highlight real goal. He's the first guy back, takes the puck, gets it going the other way, and then is rewarded with a nice play from Turk and just a good quick shot. So the sequence of 12 seconds there, um, that's impressive. Very, very impressive. When you got a guy that hot, he didn't get to the third group of the, in, in three on three. Yeah. Any, I mean, not, didn't want to ride the hot streak? Or how, no. how does that whole, yeah. I, I don't know, I'm just trying to. Yeah, I don't know. Has he ever even played in overtime before I, life? I don't know. But yeah. I, just, I, mean, yeah, I don't think he has. Yeah. So he got out there with his line. Yeah. We went with three forwards as a line. Yeah, so he got out there with his line. Would, would you would have put him ahead as I was playing? The guy's hot. Yeah, yeah. The guy's hot and, I don't know. I'm not saying I'm smarter than you. No, 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 I didn't say that. I just asked you a question. You would have put yes, him out first. That's what you're saying. Okay, I good. Would, would no problem. The hot hand. Yeah, okay. That's fair enough. Yeah, I chose to go a different way. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, you mentioned throwing a whole forward line. You've done that a couple times now. Yeah. I don't know if there's a coach more committed to three fours and three on three. What's kind of the decision making behind that? Why you guys have been so committed to uh, Well, you know, our defensemen. Um, Got ground down just a little bit. You, uh, Gabby played a lot. Eddie played a lot. Um, yeah, so we felt like, you know, we've got guys sitting on the bench. If I got to sit Kevin or I got to sit Morsey or if I got to sit Laugh, um, you know, those guys can get out there and play three on three. Now, Bedard went through us. That that didn't look very good. But for the other groups, uh, I thought did a pretty good job. So I don't know how we'll do it. You know, if Dewey was here, Dewey would be going out. Drew was here, he'd be going out. So just based on the game, how it's uh, developed and stuff like that, we felt we could do something a little bit different there.